Hello guys, this is a week I didn't even know what came out, so of course I'm going to talk about. This is future Nintendo announcements and Nintendo Directs. With a weekly, all these announcements are going to be a Nintendo Direct because I think Nintendo will start continuing doing standard Nintendo Directs again. Here, so we have future Nintendo announcements side. Nintendo is revamping its classic game service next year. I think they really need to re either revamp it. 3D All Stars and Fire Emblem will test runs with HD texturing, emulation, and vocalization. N64, GameCube, Wii, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance games, as well as NES, Super Nintendo games, they all be on one app. That is the revamping of the Kratzer game service. A new Mario Kart game was originally planned for this holiday, but was pushed to summer. Expect swappable costumes. This next Smash Bros. characters is Crash Bandicoot and Sante's. Oh, I, I, I don't think Sante is that likely, but if this guy is correct, that means Sante will be in Smash Bros. And she will be the second indie character to be in Smash Bros. Yes, Steve is an indie character because Minecraft started out as an indie game. It no longer he's no longer can tell yeah, you know the problem with Steve is that he is no longer an indie character, but he started out as an indie game character, so yes, Steve is an indie character basically because he started out as one, so we can count him as an indie character. Animal Crossing next update will be announced next week. You'll be able to grow up more vegetables and craft food and toys. Animal Crossing will have a version 2.0 update giving an upgrade to and Tommy's shop as well as Bruce's coffee on the first floor. There will also be an upgrade for Abel's sister's shop with the food sister and giraffe and town hall. And Bubble the Wild 2 is much more like a and challenging, no, no not like a, larger and challenging dungeons. Switch, of course, we all know this is going to happen. Switch is going to get a mid-cycle refresh of improved netcode, this is a major complaint. The console version set, it feels more slightly we like, oh god, that sounds pretty bad. The Wii, come on Nintendo Wii. I know Wing Fit Events was a big success, but please don't go back to the Wii. Oh, it says Wii like. Oh, you know, they always, oh, they always have those controls on the Switch. They're optional, at least, so yeah, it's like a Wii Fest. So it'll probably be improved UI, graphics, netcode, and everything. There is these quote unquote Switch Pro. Well, I don't think there's gonna be a new console. Nintendo's gonna not be that dumb, that you know dumb. I think they're gonna wait a bit for a new console once the Switch dies down in popularity. Once they have exhausted all the Switch numbers, they'll probably release a much more powerful version of the Switch. You know, next the next generation console. I don't think Nintendo is done because they haven't released a Mario Kart game for the Nintendo Switch yet, which is something. That people, yeah, oh, but they waste Mario Kart, no, like a true Mario Kart, not Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. They haven't really released a true Mario Kart game on the Switch. They're, we're also missing a Donkey Kong game, a Wario game, which has been rumored by a well, Virtual Boy that has been rumored for a long time as well. You know, South Korean Fold, but Nintendo will never do something yet. Well, that's no, yo. <laughs> But yeah, we had we haven't got out to oh we did get out 2D Mario game. I was Mario Maker 2. We got you know, cause we got a 3D Mario game. We got our you know, and also Metroid Prime 4 isn't even out yet. I think Metroid Prime 4 is gonna be the big cross gen game of the net of the next gen past gen Switch console. The game that's been delayed constantly, and I think that will be a cross gen game. So that's basically it. Goodbye.